Hi guys, it's me Karen. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do a little video on the um, graphite tint paints, which I forgot to put a cross on the T. <laughs> um, they have a little card here that tells you what colors there are. And I pulled out pencils right here that are the graphite pencil set to go with the pan set. The only one I don't have in this set is the graphite gray. Now I have a bunch of grays in here, but I do not have a graphite gray. So I'm probably gonna leave that just as the water one. I have cool gray and all these other grays in here, but I don't have that particular one. Um, I cut out a piece of watercolor paper and labeled all the graphite paint colors here pulled out every color except for that graphite gray and I have a cool gray a mountain gray a cold gray a warm gray <laughs> and uh, this one that's called storm but that's got more pink into it so I don't know which one it would be um, that's cloud not cooled <laughs> I don't know which one graphite would be. So I'm going to paint it first and then see if I can come up with a gray that will match it in this set. Okay, so what we're going to do is get you down a little closer. I will use um, the paint set here. Oh boy, let's try to get it over here. One of the things I wanted to tell you about this is if you wanted to make your own little sets in here, they do pop out. They take a little effort to get them out but they do come out with this little tab and if you flip them over you can pop the pan out through pushing on that side the paints do fall out if you do that though so you have to be real careful I'm gonna leave it in the set it does come with its own water brush you take this little plug out fill that with water screw that on and you will have a water brush but I have one sitting here so I'm not gonna fill that up you can cork that up and have it filled with water and carry this around as a travel set if you are so inclined. And what we're gonna do is get you down and we will get started. Hopefully you can see everything on the desk. Now, since I'm not taking these pans out and coloring them onto the paper, I don't know if a true test of what the colors look like separate would work if I took the pencil and scribbled it on and then added water. So I have the um, Karen Dash board here and I'm going to scribble the color. This is autumn brown on here and then put a little bit over here so you can have a better test of what this color will look like. Okay, so there is our pencil. and then activated. Okay. And then we will rinse that off so I don't stick my hand in it. <laughs> Clean that up and take the first color, which is our autumn brown here. Cool. Okay. With this one, we just scribbled, you know, on top of the paper and moved it. This one we used on the board. And if you'll notice, those two are kind of a different color already. This one's got a little deeper color to it. And I'm sure that's the first one. Yeah, autumn brown. Second one is going to be the russet. So we did autumn brown. Rest it going to be done the same way. Scribble, scribble. <laughs> Lay this one down first. Do this one. Wipe that off so I don't stick my hand in it. One of these times I'm going to forget. Good uh -huh. Sorry, my watch. And we'll take it right off of there. 
and put it down. Okay, again, color is not the same. I mean, this is a darker, deeper, and has a green tone to it. And this one is more of a lighter brown color. I would assume you could put more coats on that and get it a little deeper, but we're just testing these out. Okay, we're going to go with the um, meadow here. Put it down first. Oh, that is gorgeous color. Put the meadow. Make sure I got the right one. Down over there. On the board. You can always tell this one is all going to be a lot lighter here. A lot more yellow. Okay. Uh, next color. Slate green. Or green gray. I'm sorry. I'm not really seeing much green in that. Slate. <laughs> what is this? Green gray. Try to get my color right. Green gray. And you will see the green on this one. Not much on that one. Okay. Next color is going to be the slate green. Which one is the slate green up here? This one? Oh, that's pretty. Okay. Slate green. Slate green. <laughs> Go into that one. There we go. Uh, steel blue. Ooh, pretty. Okay. Oh, I missed ocean blue. Is that ocean blue? Hold on, hold on. Yes, that is ocean blue. So this is ocean blue. We'll just put um, steel blue under here. <laughs> okay. Oh, well, that's a lot brighter. So this one is really dark. Um, skip that. See, ocean blue. <laughs> and then we'll put steel blue. We'll just uh, mark this one here. And then uh, steel blue over here. Okay. <clears throat> steel blue is the one on the bottom, right? Yeah. Okay, this one is steel blue. That's almost got a purple color to it. Okay, what are you? Steel blue? Steel blue. Which now has a blue tint. The other one has a purple tint. And that's a blue tint. That is interesting. Just going to double check. <laughs> yeah, that is purple. Okay. So, um, steel blue. Blue in the pencil and purple in the paint. Okay, dark indigo. Mm -hmm. Next one over. 
which should be a blackish blue color. I'm going to get blue in that. It's a very slight bit of blue in there. Dark indigo. You can already see there's blue in it. A lot more than in the uh, paint. So I'm taking a little more of the indigo here. We'll add a lot of water to that. Nope, that does not really have much of a blue tone to that. Okay, <clears throat> next one, Aubergine, which should be a purple. Yes. Oh, pretty. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, this one is the pencil part of Aubergine and then the scribble part. From the palette, from the pencil. Just beautiful color. One of my favorite. Okay. Next one is going to be Port. No idea what color. Oh no, Juniper should be next. Hold on. Juniper. Aubergine Juniper. Oh my goodness. That is a really pretty color. Okay. <clears throat> is it you, Juniper? Yes. Juniper pencil form. Juniper over on the board. A bright purple here. A little bit darker on the pencil and way darker in the paint set. Hold on a second, please. Okay, next color is port. Just to double check, I'll grab the pencil first. <laughs> okay, port here. Port here. We'll do those two first. Nice burnt reddish color. Now oh, that got a little thick. Come on. Get some water in there. There we go. Pull that down a little. And then the port here. Which is a deep, deep, deep color. This one has a little more red in it. So it's got a tiny bit of purple in it. And then our graphite gray. Our graphite gray almost looks like a black. Let me see what I have here. That's the darkest gray I have. Come here, you. Well, we have midnight black. I'm just going to use the black because that kind of looks like black. Okay. So we'll pick up our black. Midnight black. And there we go. Now, other than the goof I did here and scoot the ocean blue up <laughs> and the steel blue down, what is the difference between these? I have to look at it a little closer. Okay. It does seem that the uh, graphite paints, oh, that was the other thing I was going to do. I'm going to mess with these a little bit, see if any of that comes out anywhere. I'm going to move this before I get all that on my arm. I'm just going to take an eraser and we'll try. Yes, they do come up a little bit. I'll just do the top one. 
so you can get some of that off if you wanted to if you didn't um, say like that color when you painted it down it has some erasability or I put it on just too thick and it just rubbed right off if you look at it under the light I don't know if you can catch that the top up here when I painted it on it's got a little bit of a silver sheen to it and that'll be your graphite that's in there I'm assuming but all of these have that uh, excuse me eraser bum the other side has it some in the um, penciled on areas but not in the uh, painted on let's see if we can reactivate these with water now I have a darker portion up on the top and then I watered it out and I'm going to use that top portion to see if any of this will reactivate that will so you can move that around a little bit and I'm only going to do it on one color yes that will it looks like you can lift that color right out and the pencil yes we'll move to still the color saturation between these two I'm going to move this one around a little bit more you have a lot more in mellow or meadow here a lot yellow a lot more yellow tone to it than in this side these are going to be a darker color kind of almost um, to me in my head if I see a russet potato it's more this shade than that shade uh, this is a little bit more pink than this one I like this one better I'm gonna like this set a lot <laughs> A gray green I do like this one because it has the green in it uh, more green than okay I was saying about the gray green this one has a little more green into it this is more of a gray gray color let me see if I put a gray next to that uh, what are you this is a uh, cloud gray I think it would probably be blue I'm gonna throw a little color there I wanted to see if I could see a green tone in that it's barely there so if you put it next to a blue it'll probably show up greener a bit I would use that more as a Payne's gray than a green gray and if I wanted green gray I'd go to the pencil set for that one this late green I really love that color I mean I love all these colors they have a deepness to them that I appreciate um, the steel blue to me is purple um, this is the blue steel blue on this side and it has blue in it but this one definitely is purple which is a really cool purple <laughs> but I would change that name uh, it's got some blue to it but make a really pretty night sky the blue indigo is a really deep black blue to me and then you have the indigo on this side aubergine is gorgeous and so is the juniper the port uh, has a little bit more of a uh, purple brown tone to it than the red port over here and like I said the graphite gray and the black can work together so there you are the difference between the graphite paint set and the pencils used both on the palette and then pencil form straight on paper and like I said this is a uh, water color paper the paper I'm using is just the Strathmore water paper cold press um, to be perfectly honest I don't know the difference between cold press warm press or whatever this is the paper I picked up at my local grocery store <laughs> that has a <laughs> office section in it and it said watercolor so that's what I picked up 
if you follow somebody who does watercolor, they'll be able to tell you the difference between the paper. I used the um, bumpier side, if there is any difference to anybody. Now they're completely dry. And the other thing I wanted to check is sometimes the graphite pencils, because, you know, they're made with graphite, with a uh, color in them. So you can use them the, like a graphite pencil. They are a little, um, oh, what do you call it? Because the graphite in there makes it a little chunkier, not as smooth. These laid down smoother than even these that I painted. They have kind of a chunkiness to them, which is a really cool thing about them. But you can mix these. Use them both together. In fact, if you use that one with that one, that's a nice gradient. You could uh, put a gradient in with these. And you know they're going to go together, the same colors. So that meadow green here with that would look really pretty together. So they're very versatile if you get them both. Well, because I had them. I started with these. <laughs> and I wanted this set forever. And I just love these deep colors. Almost jewel toned. They're really pretty. Anyway, so that is the set. And a, a little tiny review on what they look like next to the um, pencils. The other thing about the pencils is, what color is this one? No, we'll take a color color. Boom, here we go. The port. Uh, say you're doing your color book and you wanted to add a little extra color into this. You can color right on top of that because it's a graphite. It is water soluble, but you know, you can use it like a colored pencil right over it. Would be cool. And I think you could probably do that. Looks better on that one. Let's try. Yeah, they'll blend together with water. If you want to do that. Cool. Anyway, that's it. <laughs> I wanted to give you guys kind of a... Uh, see what they look like, differences or the sameness of them. This is the only set I believe that's available. There are only 12 colors. The pencil set is not all that large either. <laughs> 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. 24 set of the uh, graphite pencils. So. I hope you enjoyed. That will be it for me today. And I will see you in the next video. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. If you have any questions that I didn't answer, or if you think I can answer, go ahead and leave them down in the box, and I will get to them as soon as I can. Take care, everyone. <laughs> Bye now.